Welcome to another video. This is Linear Equations Assignment 5, and it's actually easier than you think. We'll go through it pretty quick today. So, uh, yeah, let's math it up. Okay, question 1a. Question 1 in general, we're calculating the slope of a line. Just the slope. So the slope is the rise of that line over the run of that line. So let's look at 1a. Here's 1a. It is, uh, we always want to go from our most left point and move right. So I like to start with the run, which in this case will be two, and the rise will be one. So rise over run, the slope of this line is going to be one over two. Rise, run, one over two, or one half. The slope of this line is one half. The next one. 1b. Now, again, start with the most left point. Slide over. That run is going to be 1. The rise is 1, 2, 3, 4 points. 4. So, slope is 4 over 1. Now, 4 over 1 can be simplified. Right? It's a fractional statement, it's division. So 4 divided by 1, the slope is going to equal 4. So the slope of this line is 4. And it's a positive 4, it's an upward slope. Let's look at C. So this is the only one that's going to be a negative slope. You can see it's going down from left to right. So we're going to start here, and we're going to run one, two, three, four spaces. So the run's gonna be four, and the rise is gonna be one, two, negative two. So negative two. So the rise over run, negative two over four. Right, you're always moving left to right, so it's always a positive run, but it can be a negative rise. And when we see this, we're gonna write it as negative 2 over 4, which is the same as negative 1 half. Or you can simplify both of those numbers, negative 1 half. Okay, 2a. Now 2a, again, is simply drawing a line when given the intercepts. So anything on this line is going to be called the y-intercept. Anything on this line is going to be called the x-intercept. Where a line crosses the x and y values is called the intercept. So for this one, it says intercept for x is 1 for point. Intercept for y is 5 for a point. We're going to draw a line through these two points. the edge of our graph and beyond that's our line so that line has an intercept of x is 1 y is 5 I don't know what the formula is for it I don't need to calculate it right now 2b so the intercept is at 2x and 1y I'm gonna put a point at both of these so both of these get a point and I simply draw a line moving between them and going right through the graph. And I will do the same thing going this way. Make our line nice and straight. It's always good to use a straight edge. So there's our line for 2B. 2C, now we have some negative intercepts. We have negative 1y, negative 3x. OK. 
Okay, so let's put a point right through those two. And go back this way and draw a point right there. There's our line. Simple as that. It's like these are not really mathematically difficult questions. They're just procedurally difficult. You just have to know the vocabulary and what you're being asked to do. But for 3a, or for 3, it says write the equation in slope intercept form when given the slope and the y-intercept. So that means slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b. m of x is this, and b is this. So it's simply going to go y is equal to 4 fifths times x plus one, right? Here's the four fifths, there's the one. Let's do three B. So again, start with Y is equal to two thirds, two over three X minus three. Right, so the slope is the two, or I, I mix those two up. The slope is three over two, and the intercept is negative three, or subtract three. So when we're using these tools, we know what is, which is what, right? We're practicing this for a reason, and this because we're going to be applying this information later on in the worksheet. Y is equal to, right here, 7 fourths X, right here, plus 3, right? So those two, that's the Y intercept, that's the slope. 3D, Y is equal to negative six-fifths x plus, nope, minus three, right? This one's here, and that goes there. Y is equal to five thirds plus X, sorry, five thirds X plus two. And the last one, Y is equal to negative seven thirds X plus five. Okay. At this point, I would hope that we have the slope and the y-intercept understood so we can start applying it. So in one, question one, let's see if I can get myself out of the way here. Question uh, 4a, we're now going to be graphing these lines. We're going to be taking the equation and putting it onto the graph. So the first one, we want to look at the y-intercept. So the y-intercept is this number here, three. We're gonna graph three, and that's the first point on our graph. Now this has a slope of x, like there's no slope written here. So we have to understand this slope is, this represents one x, and we can think of it as slope of one over one, right? You change any number into a fraction by writing one underneath it. Now, because the rise and the run of this is one, the rise and the run is gonna be one, 
we can just say that we'll right we're gonna rise one and that'll be our point again there's our point that's our stairs so we're gonna have a point here and a point here and once you have two points you can graph your line so I've already graphed way more than I have to so I'm gonna go right through here there's my line oh I didn't want to do that Jeez. all right I'll just redraw it I forgot to do that redo all right so there's second try at this there's our line next one y is equal to 2x plus 2. So there's our graph. First step, y-intercept. That 2 is our y-intercept. So that's going to be right here. We put that on our graph. Mark our 2. Now our rise is 2 over 1, right? Remember that any number could be written as fraction by writing one and then we have a rise over run so we can say for every one we move over we move two up there's our next line one over two up there's our next line we only need two points and we can plot and graph our line there's our line simple as that this is not really, really hard, but it's important that we practice. So I don't think I can get out of the way for this one. Oh, good enough. Y is equal to negative 4x minus 1. Now, minus 1, that's our y-intercept. Negative 4x, so this is like negative 4 over 1. So 4, 1 over, 4 down which will bring us to this point here. Now we have two points on the graph. We can graph that line. Get out our straight edge, and we can run. Our graph right through there, and I'll finish off this line. Last bit is a little uneven, but it's always good to use a ruler to graph these lines be as accurate as you can. Question five. So thin slice here, we're moving a little bit more difficult, but only because now we have some fractional, it's not even more difficult really. It's just representing the slope as a fraction from the start, which is kind of easier. Maybe, maybe it's not easier, I don't know. So. The Equation says y is equal to 2 thirds x minus 2. Once again, y intercept minus 2, 2 thirds. So the first step is 3 over, and it's positive, so 2 up. There's our next point. We could do that again, or we can even go backwards, 2 down, 3 over. But again, all you need is two points. Once you have these first two lines here, that's all you need. So let's go through there. There's our line, cross our graph. Negative two thirds x minus two. Y is equal to two thirds x minus two. Go five b. So five b, we're gonna find our Y intercept minus three. We are going to do four over one, two, three, four, and one down. One down. There's our next point on the graph. I'm going to graph these lines. accurate as possible. There it is. That's our line. 
right? So we have four back and one up or four forward and one down. All right, we always wanna think about down, forward and down. Like we wanna graph with the run going that way, but sometimes a point, yeah, sometimes we have to force to do kind of the backwards thing. Y intercept for five C, I think it's fine. Start at our negative one point, because that's our Y intercept. Then we're gonna go two over, always running forward, two over. And then we're gonna go two, three down, because it's negative one, two, three. There's our next point. And we can already graph that line. Graph it back the other way. Right there, that's our line. Oh, oh man. Redo, redo. Undo things by accident. All right, the next section, we have six more questions till we're done. And those six questions are going to be writing an equation from a graph. So two steps, we're gonna be first, um, first we're gonna find the slope and then find the y-intercept. It doesn't have to actually be in that order, but when you write the equation, you kinda of go slope first and then intercept after. So let's try it that way. So here's the first line. So there's our, our point. There's another point on our line. We're gonna move one over and three up, right? So our slope is three over one, right? Rise of three over run of one, which is three, right? Remember you can do that. It's three over one, which is equal to three. Remember that, that's, it's not wrong if you wrote three over one, but it's just more correct if you wrote it just as three. So y is equal to three x plus four, because four is our, four is our slope uh, intercept, our y intercept. Okay, uh, there's our y-intercept, negative two, and one over, two over, three over, one, two, three, four, up, positive four, three. So our slope is gonna be four over three. You can't simplify that. So y is equal to four thirds, x plus, nope, minus two. There's our slope, right? So it's the slope, y is equal to the slope times x minus the y-intercept. We have another one, there's the y-intercept at y is equal to one, it's gonna be a negative slope. Let's start there and go to, there's our next point, two, three, two and negative three, negative three over two is our slope. So we're gonna go y is equal to negative three over two plus one, because y intercept is plus one. Okay, next questions here, seven A, there's our y intercept. There's, oh, there's our slope. Any one of these lines here, so it's like one over one. One over one is our slope, one over one, which is a slope of one, which is a slope of just x. 
So you'd write this as y is equal to x minus 2. There's our y-intercept. Our slope is going to our next point there, which is 2 over 1 up. y is equal to 1 over 2 x plus 2. Our last equation here, there's our y-intercept, positive 4. And there's our next point. So our slope's going to be 1 over 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 over 1, negative, because it's going down, negative 4, positive 1. Y is equal to negative 4 x plus 3. That's it. Beat dropped right on my grand finale there. So, yeah, not, not a super long one. And not super hard if you know how to apply slope and um, intercept and you know, this is just practice so hope you found that helpful and remember to keep mathing it up. <laughs>